Hey guys, welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Recently, I was reading through the news on the World of Tennis Blitz announcements page, which we've got here, and I saw this and the account transfer option. Now, this is from uh, World of Tennis Blitz RU, by the way, and we'll get into why and all that in a moment. I then read through this, saw all about it, and then decided to put a poll on my YouTube community where I asked, do you want me to do a video on it, or do you want me to stream it, or what do you want to do? And overwhelmingly, everybody said they wanted a video on it. So what is this all about? Well, it's quite interesting. So basically, what, what's happening is this. Back in April, World of Tanks Blitz said, well, Wargaming actually said that they were removing themselves from uh, Russia and Belarus and they were going to offload their platform that is currently there to a company called Leicester Games, okay? And that was back in April. Now, things have sort of moved on since then, and what, what Wargaming are going to do now is completely sever, or what it appears to be, sever all ties with Russia and Belarus with their platform, World of Tanks Blitz, okay? Now, if you read through this, now the link is in the th is down below. So they're saying that the next step in the separation process, we will introduce a new application for players from Russia and Belarus called Tanks Blitz. So it's not like are you players or Russian players or Belarusian players will not have access to the game anymore. They will just have access to a different game. And there's a reason for that. Because of the geopolitical situation, app stores will no longer be available to players who are based either in Russia or Belarus. That means they won't be able to download the updates to the game. More importantly, they won't be able to use the stores to purchase items in the game. So that presents a problem. So if you're sat in Russia, for example, and you know update 9.3 comes along, well, you won't be able to access the App Store to upload that that update. Simple as that, really. So there's that, the, the, the practical side of things. Now, some of you may have seen World of Tanks PC is sort of got a similar announcement, but they're going through a slightly different scenario, mainly because World of Tanks PC you download from Wargaming's client, Wargaming Net. However, World of Tanks PC, I also believe, has been sold to Leicester Games also. And the PC players are also being given the option to migrate across to the EU server. And that's basically what's happening here. Wargaming is saying, look, to all of you based in Russia and Belarus, there's going to be a change. You will no longer be able to play World of Tanks Blitz. You will no longer be able to download the updates for World of Tanks Blitz. And the chances are you'll no longer be able to use the stores a, the Apple App Store or the Android Steam Store or the Stream Store or whatever they're called, you won't be able to use those anymore. So you are given a choice. You are The choice is basically, do you want to stay on the CIS region? And if so, we will transfer your entire World of Tanks Blitz account as it is currently to the new game client, Tanks Blitz, which is owned and operated by Leicester Games, or do you want to migrate your account, considering all the practical um, problems that could be there to the EU server? And that's the main thing. So a couple of things. It says here, the new application Tanks Blitz will not differ from World of Tanks Blitz regarding gameplay. So that's number one. That's a good thing. It will appear in the platform stores in Russia and Belarus regions instead of World of Tanks Blitz. Now, this is important. So if you are sat there thinking, oh, you know, I'll, I, I, I'm, I'm sat in Europe and, I'd like to, and I've got a, a CIS account and I'd like to stay in that region, chances are you won't be able to download Tanks Blitz because it will only be available in the Russian stores. And, you know, that, that's a problem if you're sat in Europe and you play on CIS server. So Tanks Blitz will not be available in any app stores with other regional settings. There you go. In future announcements, we will let you know when the new application is available for download and which devices and platforms it will be available on. So you need to take that into account because it's a, it's a two-way migration, guys. 
you know, it's not just open for Russians and Belarusians who want to migrate over to EU. It's also open to those who are currently sat somewhere around the EU region who predominantly play on the CIS server. They can also transfer their EU account to the CIS. However, this is important. You won't get access to Tanks Blitz unless you've got the Russian app stores. Okay, simple as that. And you won't have access to World of Tanks Blitz unless you've got a non-Russian app store. Now, of course, there's going to be workarounds, uh, VPNs, etc., etc., and no doubt people will see that. But you have to consider how will this overall affect the game. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying, "Oh, you know, we're going to be absolutely inundated with CIS server people." But that's not necessarily true. I mean, look, the CIS server is by far the biggest server for World of Tanks Blitz, and you know. Not everybody is centered around one single location in Moscow. I mean, Russia is a massive country. It's the biggest country in the world. It is huge. And it's not beyond the balance of probability that some people, you know, in the clans or they've got friends who, whilst they may be sat in St. Petersburg playing the game, their chummy, their platoon mate, their clan mate may be sat, I don't know, in the middle of Siberia in Kutsk playing the game. And the guy in Kutsk, He's got no access to a uh, European server, so he's going to stay on the CIS server playing Tanks Blitz, which means his buddy in St. Petersburg ain't going to be playing with him. So there's a practical part of it. I can't realistically see all 120 odd thousand you know, Russians and Belarusians upping sticks from the CIS server and suddenly migrating to Europe server because it's just not going to happen. You know, there are long established friendships and communities. And, you know, maybe you may have one or two migrate across, but you're not going to have a lot. And people are going to want to stay in touch with their friends. They want to continue playing with their friends against other players that they know and they're used to and stuff like that. So there's, I don't think there's going to be a massive migration. Uh, interestingly, I was speaking to one of the uh, Russian streamers, Mufodi. He did a similar poll. And on his poll, 90% of his viewers, who are pre predominantly Russian, have said, no, they're not going to migrate. So first and foremost, don't suddenly start thinking that there's going to be a massive invasion um, onto the EU server of those from the CIS server, because the chances are it's not going to happen. Okay, There are lots of practicalities involved, not just my mate I play with all the time is not coming across, so I'm not coming across. There's the, 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 the fact that are you going to be able to download the updates? Are you going to have access to the store, etc., etc., etc. Now, look, those who do want to transfer, then it's up to them if they want to transfer. As long as they've got access to the, to, to the app stores in that region, as long as they're able to purchase things and do things like that, there's no problem with people from the CIS region coming over to EU. And I would ask, you know, because again, I see a lot of this, you know, a lot of people have commented to me that there is a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans already on the EU server. And my point to that is, and what's it matter? Okay, they bring different tactics and different game styles to the server, but in the grand scheme of things, we're playing a game, you know, it doesn't matter to me if that person sits in Timbuktu or the Outer Hebrides. You know, if they enjoy the game, they enjoy the game. It doesn't matter what they look like, what language they speak, or where they sit in the world, and why should it? And it's the same mentality I have here. If there suddenly happens to be a mass migration from CIS, me personally, I'll welcome them with open arms and embrace that, because I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for the game. But I also, on the same token, I don't think much is actually going to change. I think you'll find that a majority of the Russians and the Belarusians are going to stay with the new platform, which is uh, Tanks Blitz, because of the practicalities, as I said. Now, as I said, I've put the link in. It's, it's to the RU website for those who want to know. So it, it's full of interesting stuff, um, very important stuff. So I think Wargaming have done a, a great thing here to give as much information as humanly possible. Realistic information at that. I mean, for example, it says, how do I choose in which game to leave my account? It says, well, when deciding, you first need to figure out which application you can easily install and update. The new Tanks Blitz app will only be available in the app stores in Russia and Belarus. 
In other countries, it will not be available for installation and will not receive updates. The World of Tanks Blitz app will disappear completely from all app stores in Russia and Belarus. In other countries, it will remain available and therefore receive the updates. Therefore, this is from Wargaming, we recommend that players from Russia and Belarus transfer their current accounts to Leicester Games and continue playing through Tanks Blitz since this application will be easy to install and update. We recommend that CIS players from other countries transfer their accounts to the Europe server and continue playing World of Tanks Blitz on their current account since this application will be easy to install and update. So, CIS, by the way, is quite a big region. It, it's not just Russia. Now, strictly speaking, CIS countries include Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan, with Turkmenistan being an observer, I believe, or no, an associate, and Mongolia being an observer. So, with the exception of Russia and Belarus, all those other countries, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan, we still have access to World of Tanks Blitz. So what Wargaming is saying is if you're from one of those countries, you may want to consider moving your account. So you can still play Blitz because it's going to be difficult for you to access the Russian game version, which is Tanks Blitz. And what they're then saying is those of you who are currently sat in Belarus or Russia, it may be advisable for you to keep your account and transfer it to Tanks Blitz instead because it's just going to be easier for you to access. And that's the thing. Now, as I said, there are also other players out there. I mean, I myself have an account on the CIS server. And when all this gets implemented, I will not be able to access Tanks Blitz. Simple as that. So that account, okay, it was only made to stream the events, but that account to me is now, there's no point me transferring that to the EU because, well, what's the point? It, it's only got a couple of tanks in there and I only used it to stream the tournaments. So, but I'm a prime example and I am not, I'm one of many. There are many players out there who are not sitting in a CIS country, yet they have a CIS account. And therefore, this will allow them to migrate their accounts from CIS over to the EU server, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, Wargaming also said that everything will be transferred. The current status of your garage will be transferred either way so if you're sat in russia and you've got every single tank in the game it will, everything everything will transfer to leicester games new tank split if you're sat in say kazakhstan and you've got every single tank in the game uh, but you're on the cis server and want to move to eu then all that will be transferred to the eu you're not going to see anything realistically changing as such well will how will my account continue after the change well one of the big things is what if you've got the same in-game name as somebody else well again this is covered here and it says if your nickname is already taken your new nickname on the eu server will look like your nickname on cis account id whatever so you need to read this and you need to look at it if you choose to if you choose to transfer your account from europe north america or asia service to cis for the leicester games you will still keep all the vehicles, credits, and other resources, uh, and even your nickname, as long as it's not used by another player. If it is used, then again, same applies. And if you choose to continue to play on CIS server and transfer your account, you keep all the vehicles, credits, gold, and other resources. Nothing will change there. What about clans? Well, clans, unfortunately, will stay uh, on the server where they were created. You can't transfer clans, guys. So, you know, it's that straightforward. If you have got a clan in uh, RU and you want to transfer it to EU, you can't. It's, uh, it's just like that. So, after the release, Tanks Blitz will automatically rate the clans that were set up in World of Tanks Blitz on the CIS server and whose management remains in the hands of players who decided to stay with Tanks Blitz. Now, if they're not transferred between CIS and Europe servers, even the clan lead, even if the clan leads decides to go to another server, what then happens is the role of clan lead will automatically transfer to the player who has been in the clan the longest. So be careful with this one, guys, because if you've got an active clan on RU and your clan lead 
is not from our is not from Russia or Belarus and suddenly decides oh bugger it I'm moving over to the EU server then automatically there will be a new clan lead who is the longest serving member of the clan so you may want to you know start having chats about is this going to really happen and if so how are we going to administer this and that's basically it and well I personally don't think there's any cause for concern here I think wargaming are doing quite a good thing they're giving options here they they're addressing their the player base currently sat within Russia and Belarus um, in light of the current geopolitical situation. And they're also addressing those players who probably don't want to be on the CIS server anymore for whatever reasons that may have. Sitting outside of Russia, well, not even sitting outside of Russia, sitting outside, you know, and they don't want to be part of that server, they can migrate across. But remember, there are practicalities involved. And there's no point you transferring your account over to EU if you're not going to be able to access it in any way, shape or form. Anyway, that's just the update I wanted to give. Let me know your thoughts on this because I'd be inter interested to hear. But as I said for the life of me, don't start thinking that there's going to be some sort of Eastern invasion onto the EU server because that just isn't going to be the case, guys. And even if it was, it's not going to be a bad thing, okay? It's, it's just going to bring different style of play to the game. It's going to bring more players to the game. You know, you suddenly your queue times will go down. Okay, you may get a bit frustrated because they may not all speak the same language of you, but we're on a European server. Not everybody speaks English. <laughs> you remember that. English is not the default language for everybody in Europe. I know a lot of people, I have a lot of friends in Italy and hardly any of them speak English. And my Italian is sucks. I have friends in Spain who hardly speak English. It's not like English is the go-to language and everybody needs to know it because that's just not true. So don't worry about this. You know, if players do migrate across, then look, as a community, just welcome them with open arms because we're a game. There's no politics involved in the game. It's just a game, you know, and we play the game for fun and entertainment, nothing more than that. Anyway, as I said, love to hear your views on this. So until the next time, guys, comments below. And uh, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about, you know. Having fun and being happy.